tanning uh, with Home Fix, and Cody and I are headed to uh, a customer's house. We're doing a very large kitchen remodel for Aaron and Lance uh, down here in the Broadmoor, Cheyenne Mountain area. Uh, we ran into a problem yesterday where uh, one of the production managers, Brian Munson, gave me a call and said that we found duct work and utilities up in a soffit, which is the part that extends from the ceiling, and uh, we're not going to be able to install the cabinets that we thought, so we're going to go check things out and see, what, uh, see if we can fix this problem. So. Stay tuned. We're here at Aaron and Lance's uh, kitchen that I was just talking about, and uh, there used to be a wall right here. We removed that completely. We're separating dining and kitchen, and now we're just going to expand this kitchen into a ginormous kitchen. That window's going away. This whole back wall is going to be a gas stove, double oven over here, um, island right where I'm standing, which is going to be awesome. But the problem I was talking about is that we've got this soffit here, so the part that extends down below and hides all this stuff. Um, what I did is I drilled a hole over here before the job started to make sure that we could get a double oven over here. We determined that there was ductwork, there's metal up in there, so we can't do that. Uh, so we're going to just keep it underneath there and not remove this. But I made the mistake of not looking up into this soffit to see if there's anything up there. And what we were planning on doing is taking the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. The big problem is I've already ordered cabinets and so now we have to reorder cabinets. Um, and most of the time contractors would say, okay, this is unforeseen circumstances, right? We can't see beyond that wall. We can't see what's up in the soffit. And then they're going to go to their customer and say, hey, we got to charge them more money. In this case, as a professional, I dropped the ball. I should have, I should have drilled a hole up there. I should have looked before we ordered cabinets. And in that case, I'm not going to charge any plans. So that doesn't seem like the right thing to do. We need to beat this and open up to our mistakes. So that's what we're doing. We've already reordered cabs that are going to fit underneath this at 84 inches and just keep going from there. So, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for your grace, everybody. <laughs>